Hello, Church of the Servant family. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. It's a troubling time every day these days for the last two weeks and for longer for many. Um, the violence that we're seeing in our own city streets here in Wilmington and in cities across the nation and now across the globe is jarring and confusing and heartbreaking more than anything. And maybe confusing isn't the right word. It's, it's the language, um, of the outcry, the lament um, that needed to be said in light of the murder of George Floyd um, by, at the hands of white police officers. And yet we find ourselves, we find new people having conversations that maybe they weren't having before. So we can be cautiously optimistic that we may have reached a tipping point and yet even so, um, there's more work to be done. This is a serious systemic problem that's going to take more than just voting differently in the elections um, that we face. And so one of the things that I keep hearing over and over again is the importance of listening, listening to different voices. So this past Sunday, I went and listened to a sermon given by Pastor Jermaine Armour, um, a friend of mine and a black preacher here in town. And at the very beginning of his sermon, he talked about his love for Orange Crush soda. And while I don't have an Orange Crush soda, I have black cherry right here. And what he was talking about is that as much as he loves this, when you tap on the can over and over and you turn it around and you shake it up, and when that continues to happen over a long period of time, um, we know what's going to happen when you pop that, that top. And it was a way for him not to condone the violence that was happening in our midst, but to help explain it um, in a way that is very uh, impactful. Uh, he went on to preach a great sermon that he could preach about from a perspective that I wouldn't have been able to preach about. And I was thankful for his word. And I had a Holy Spirit epiphany this week as I considered our time of worship in June. Since we're not able to gather together in person, I thought we might spend the four Sundays in June listening to different voices, specifically listening to the voices of black preachers preaching to their congregations. Some of those preachers will be local and some of those preachers won't be local. And uh, some of them will be Facebook live streamed and some of them will be videos or they may just be a teleconference phone call. Um, all of them are meant to allow us to listen in um, without being visibly present. It won't be a Zoom um, call, but it will be a way for us to hear the language, hear the words, hear a different vision, a different understanding, a different lens um, through which they see and experience the world. And hopefully from that, we can learn more. I know that many in our Church of the Servant family have been in this work for decades, um, probably for most of your life. Um, in marches, speaking up for people, advocating for desegregation all those many years ago. And while it is tempting to say, we've done our part and we need to leave the rest to the next generation, unfortunately, that isn't the way dealing with systemic racism is, is going to work. We all have to be in it. We all have to continue to learn and we all have to work toward becoming anti-racist, which is a term that's being used more fully now. And so I'm gonna invite us to have this experience on Sunday mornings, to be somewhat disoriented from our regular routine. Um, each Saturday, we'll send out information about how to access the shared worship that we're going to experience together. And then we'll also include a Zoom um, number to be used by those of you who want to come together and reflect on what you heard, engage with one another, talk about what we've learned, what surprised us. So 
the times of our gatherings will change from week to week based on the offering that we are experiencing. I hope you'll stay flexible. I hope that you'll join in with me and hear these other voices, this other language, and be guided by the Holy Spirit in what it's teaching us um, about how to be church and how to be allies for one another as we move forward. I also um, know that some of you, many of you, have been tuning in to the Washington National Cathedral Worship, and I, it will be available later in the afternoon. So I hope that you'll participate with us, and then if you want to continue to tune into something more familiar, know that it would be there for you later in the day. So all are welcome in this experiment in adaptability, in hearing a new language. I hope you'll be part of it.